In the words of the late George Carlin, BS is the glue that binds us together as a nation. Here comes a ton of it. It's time for BSN with Big Nate. Welcome into another edition of BS and with Big Nate. That was Brain Cell, the track See Me, the EP 
coming very, very soon, and I am very excited to have the entire band joining me today. Gentlemen. Yeah. Um, hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. So what are your guys' thoughts on the, uh, the song we just heard? Um. Yeah. Uh, I think CB was the first one off of this, uh, this EP that we actually wrote, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe it was, yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, it's definitely had the most time in the kitchen getting prepared and mm -hmm. going through. So I don't know if I'd say it's the most polished one on the EP, but it's the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been playing this song since 2018. So the... It's, uh, dirty and groovy. Love it. And it, uh, it really came together when we were recording it because I had this... Um, this weird noise in my head that I kept hearing like throughout the verses and whatnot. So I, I can't remember what sample I ended up using, but anyway, there's a, like a repeating sample throughout it. And uh, I don't know that just like sealed the deal in terms of like the industrial kind of groove feel to me. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> no. I'm gonna, it was the first one I heard off the EP. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and spoil this for um, everyone watching this BS. And I, I, I do have the privilege of having heard the entire EP. And I, I'm tickled to death, thrilled, really. Um, I think there's a real evolution that you guys have got here. And I'm really excited for people to hear it. I know you guys are excited for it to get out there as well. So I want everyone to, uh, to, to tell me your favorite track. Because obviously uh, uh, DJ was saying that he doesn't think Simi's the most polished. What are you guys excited to have people hear off of it? I really enjoy the Deceit of Memories myself, but there are a few good songs. Um, I like Fireside as well because it in introduces um, a few friends of ours, did a few uh, gang vocals and guest spots on. So that, that's where I sit. I'm going to have to agree with uh, Deceit of Memories because that's such a, it's almost like a transition piece. It's the last song on the EP and you kind of get a glimpse of where Brain Cell was, where it is right now and where it's going to go, like um, what we're envisioning, I guess, for the future. So it's, it kind of wraps the whole band up in a little four minute piece. 420 to be exact. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, uh, Steve-O. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, guys? I'm just going to throw Steve-O <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> what, what, yes, Steve. What do you think? What, yeah. what do you think, Steve? Uh, Fireside was great. Uh, we got a bunch of people we had not seen together and safely gathered them to record some gang vocals. And... Uh, yeah. Oh, it's so it was it's just really nice to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a long time. So I guess I kind of tie that to Fireside now. Yeah. And it's really like just changed it, even though we've had that song for a while. I mean, and that's really what Fireside is about, too. Yeah. Like we, we went through a period, we had like this huge friend group and all of us like had played in bands in Lynchburg and surrounding area area forever. So uh, Fireside Ritual is really about a tough period in our our friend group where we just all had to really have each other and be around each other all the time. And, you know, there's a part in, in the song that says, uh, we'll burn your Christmas trees. We pick them off the street. And that's because <laughs> Joe, Joe would literally drive around downtown Lynchburg and like get the Christmas trees that people were throwing away. And we would just spend half the night just randomly having Christmas tree bombs go off in the fire. <laughs> I mean, that's Whispy. I feel like everyone kind of has a similar, like I used to, that there was a, a, a food lion near us where I grew up that would always just throw out pallets that were broken. Like they wouldn't reuse them for anything. So I would always just go out there and grab them off their dumpster and sit there and ha have those pallets. And let me tell you, pallets go really well. Pine trees though. Holy hell. Yeah. With all the needles still on them. Yeah. It's like a firework. Oh, it's insane. I want to talk, Richard, of course, has the uh, lovely, he's the only one who got the memo. He's got the lovely uh, album art backdrop. And, uh, 
I, I want to talk about that for a minute. Of course, uh, DJ has a uh, special connection to the artwork, and I'm going to let him speak on that for a minute. Oh, yeah. My wife's an artist, and um, sorry, I was paying attention. <laughs> so uh, my wife actually did the album art, which might be cringy to some people, but I think it's really freaking cool. So uh, she does like all sorts of really cool, creepy art, like a uh, stippling. So she sits there for just like hours and just dots the page. <clears throat> so uh, she said she wanted to go for it and she, she did it. We all really liked it and we were rolling with it. It's on the tank top right now. I'm a huge sucker for artwork. I can't tell you how many albums, you know, you're just kind of wandering around the record store like, huh, I've never heard about this before. And you see the artwork, you like pick it up and then you end up listening to something terrible. I don't think that's the case here. I do want to go ahead and say that, but uh, I think you did a great job with the artwork. I think it really stands out. Was there like a drafting phase or was it just kind of, you saw that and that was it. Cause you got that, like that awesome crow in there and the fireside ritual. Like there's little pieces that just, it seems to fit the E piece very well. I, I, think, I think that's all that she drew. I don't think we did anything but that, did we? I think we all came up with like some ideas. I think I DJ, we sat down and gave her some sort of idea and uh, threw in some ideas and that's what she came up with. And it was flawless in my opinion. Yeah. We loved it from the get go. And uh, as DJ mentioned, it is on a tank top now. Is there uh, is there any other apparel that's going to be coming with this EP? Um. Not right. Probably soon once we get our finances straight. Uh, we haven't really had time to, you know, get shows going because of this whole pandemic thing. But we've been looking to synchronize us ourselves, like trying to get our um, finances in and you know get new merchandise for everybody. So it's it's not been a struggle, but it's kind of like almost the sense of you know not necessarily lazy but it's just you know <laughs> it's like i work with it <laughs> to put it bluntly like we we got some merch made and we haven't really recouped the money from that like we normally would sling and merch at shows because there have been no shows this year all right so to everyone watching go over to brain cells website <laughs> and get yourself oh no awesome <laughs> brain cell uh uh, uh t-shirt and uh, I didn't mean to be like a shill. Then, then we can get the new ones. <laughs> oh no, I was waiting my turn to plug the band camp so we because we do have like all sorts of other merch that you can buy right now. And the uh, in the immortal words of Lindsey Graham, they're killing us financially right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's in the same boat, but I mean that's why I started yeah. this BS with Big Nate anyway, is to help out bands that are are, are dealing with this. And look. You want to be able to keep putting the product out there. You, you, you got to have the support. I don't think you came across as a, as a shill at all. I think it's important. I mean, I, you know, I we don't do it for the money. Me, so. You don't? No, we just want to make, you know, big, dumb, dirty metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... Maybe someday not have to dump our own money into it. <laughs> yeah, just say, I, I don't think metal is the place where anyone's doing it for the money. No, nah, that's a, where you go if you want to be a cool dad. Exactly. That's that's really where you you angle in. I have a a, a friend who lives out in uh, Richmond, Virginia, and he saw a certain musician from a national touring act working at the Home Depot. I'm not going to out the person who it is, but my point is, no matter how big you get, you still got to have that side hustle. And 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 music's about the love of music, and I think you guys definitely embody that. Super excited for this EP coming out Wednesday. Where can they get it? It's going to be pretty much everything that streams. Um, we don't have physicals lined up yet just because that usually gets, you know, sold at shows. So we're not really focusing on the physicals yet unless there's a lot of demand for it. Mm -hmm. um, you can pre-save it on Spotify right now, maybe Apple Play. I don't know. I use Spotify. I don't stream music on anything else. We, mm -hmm. we went through DistroKid like most people do to distribute it out everywhere. So it should be everywhere. Mm -hmm. What and then it's uh, five bucks or name your own price directly from us. And that's uh, bandcamp.com slash brain cell or is it brain cell 434? 
I can't remember the URL, but we're on Bandcamp. <laughs> Just type in brain cell Bandcamp. You'll find it. Look for the uh, skeletons. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll post a link above with, with the video. That way people can find it. Will's butchered the link. And this uh, thing, just oh. search for the big booty. <laughs> That's right. I mean, then you'll have the image, the album artwork on your phone. You'll be all set. Gentlemen, I'm super excited for this. I'm super excited for people to get it. I thank you for uh, coming on and talking about it. And I wish, uh, I wish you a lot of listens on Wednesday. Thank you so much, Nate. Mm -hmm. We love you. Are you sick and tired of using those cheap, smelly blue masks? They always seem to break, and no matter what you try to do and fix it, it just doesn't work. Plus, they look horrendous, and they never fit quite right. There's gotta be a better mask! Now there is! Introducing the new limited edition 105.3 The Bear Mask. This two-ply eco-friendly face cover is washable and reusable. And the best part about the new 105.3 The Bear Mask is that 100% of the proceeds benefit the Southwest Virginia COVID-19 Response Force. Get your new limited edition 105.3 The Bear Mask today!